Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now as you can probably tell this is a little bit different from my usual videos. Uh, hopefully the sound will be okay. I have the mic up there so hopefully it'll pick it up. So what I'm gonna show you guys today is a kind of Python troll server that I wrote. So the server actually runs on the on this PC here and it's actually hidden so you can't like see anything here this command prompt is nothing like it's server still running or whatever and then i have a website here that basically allows you to control the server it's just simple like post and get requests so here's how it looks like so what you can do is you can send like shutdown commands, restart commands, screenshot commands and a bunch of other things that will go through to the to this computer basically and I'll do them. So I suppose we'll start off with screenshot since uh, shutdown restart will do at the end. <laughs> so a screenshot will just take a screenshot of whatever is on here. So if I press this button as you can see, there's the screenshot there. And if I open up something else, so now let's open up a CMD or whatever once again. So now we have CMD there on the screen. And let us press the screenshot button again. And as you can see, it'll update with, C the, with the CMD there. And if you want to open the screenshot in another uh, window so if you want to like save it or whatever and there you go then you can like right click and then save it or whatever so I'll just go back and then you can also hide the screenshot if you don't want to see it anymore now the next is custom error messages so this is pretty cool you can have a title so let's just say like I don't know um, error and then for the message for the text inside the box I will just write let's say you fell down <laughs> or something like that and so when I click the send button watch what happens on screen if it will focus okay so that's a little bit better as you can see first it alt tabbed and then it displayed this error message. <laughs> now don't worry about this, it actually does nothing. It just displays some text and that's it. All right, so next thing, oops, sorry. Next thing is the spam error messages. So watch, happens when, watch what happens when I click that button. As you can see, a bunch of error messages just come up. <laughs> So you can just get rid of them by clicking whatever, it doesn't matter what you click on. All right, next is mouse control. So moving mouse to corner, you can probably guess what that is. So as you can see, I'm not touching my mouse or anything. And if I press the move mouse to corner, the mouse just goes off to the corner. <laughs> so watch that again. I'm gonna press mouse move to corner. And there it is. And then uh, spam, spaz mouse I called it. <laughs> Basically draws like a square with the mouse. So I'll show you how that looks like. So I'm gonna press it now. As you can see, the mouse kind of moves in the square. So if somebody's like using this PC and you wanna give them health while they're trying to control, they just like keep on clicking on this. <laughs> All right, so next is keyboard control. There's obviously Alt F4, the best thing you can do. So if I just highlight the CMD box here, and I press Alt F4, it will close it, and so on. And then Enter just presses the Enter button pretty much. And then the text is you can send whatever you want inside here and uh, so let me open CMD again so I can show you that 
So I'm gonna press, uh, where is it? I'm just gonna press N, send, and then send with enter just adds an enter at the end. So I'll show you the difference between two of those. So the first one is just gonna be send. As you can see there, it like types it out. Like so. I'm just gonna delete that real quick. And let's change this to like a command that you can run in the uh, what you call in the CMD. So I'm just gonna write here, and then I'm gonna press send with enter. So there you go. It types out here, and then presses enter at the end, and you can see all the files here. <laughs> all right. So next one is speech oh yeah before i do this i like to show you kind of like a handy trick so you know the way in games when you have like reload or whatever in some games it's uh, restart or whatever but it's usually like the letter r so if you put r inside here and like when somebody's like playing a game or whatever you control them nicely by sending letter r and they will like keep instantly responding them <laughs> So in this game, for example, it will respond you every time you press R. So just keep on clicking it and <laughs> you can annoy them nicely. And then once they're annoyed badly, you can annoy them even more by pressing Alt F4. And then the whole game just closes and they're like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> and then the last kind of option here is Come on, focus is speech. So this uses uh, Google, Google, uh, whatever speak speaking engine text to speech. So you can write whatever you want. I'm just gonna write hello. I'm Bob, and I like to I don't know mop the floor <laughs> or whatever. And then here in the language. You can select like the different dialects. I will uh, show you. Well, we'll start off with the English one. And then normal mode and slow mode is like uh, slow mode. He just talks a little bit slower. So you should be able to hear it. I have the headphones positioned fairly close to my mic. So let's see if you can hear it. When I press send. <laughs> yeah, so you can hear him there. As you can see, there's like no indication of anything going on in the screen, so it's like Hello, Bob, if you, I, like the floor. I don't know, write something here that's like related to what the person is doing, <laughs> it'll be kind of funny messing with them that way. Um, let's see, so if I change the language to, let's say, Chinese, and then let's run the same thing. Yeah, so that's basically it. And uh, I'll show you. Oh, yeah, that was the slow mode. So here's the normal mode. Hello, I am from and I like to mop the floor. Oh, never mind. That was the normal mode. So as you can see, it's like a lot. Uh, well, as you can hear, it's a lot uh, slower. All right, so that's um, kind of everything. Oh yeah, then at the bottom here is just kind of logs. So w whatever you pressed, uh, it shows up here. So that's kind of cool. So you can keep uh, the track of what you did <laughs> for whatever reason. So last thing we can do is just like shut down the computer. So once whoever you're trolling is frustrated so badly you can go like the final mile and then just press shut down and then there you go <laughs> it will shut down the computer nicely so yeah that's uh, kind of it uh, thanks for watching I'll probably add like some more features later on but you can uh, take a look at the github it'll have like all the instructions and stuff probably to um, set it up and stuff 
Uh, and or actually, I'll do another video later on to set it up and stuff. Cause um, there's like a special trick that you need to do to make sure that this runs like when Windows starts up. So whoever you're trolling doesn't like see any Python run box or something like that. <laughs> so I'll show you like a nice way of hiding it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, bye bye.